Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance. And as a chiropractor who sees people who have had head trauma, as well as the author of a book on migraines and epilepsy, which can be the downstream consequence of head trauma, it, this particular article really kind of hits home and it adds more things to the toolbox that we can do to protect our brain after we've had trauma. The, the challenge is that like we've learned a lot more about head trauma over the years and ignoring it is usually not a good way to go. Certainly throwing some kid back on the field again is not a good option either. And we've certainly learned that the chronic traumatic encephalopathy or CTE that we see in football players is an end result of repeated traumas to the brain. And, and a lot of that's because we're not doing anything to protect our brain. Our lifestyles just suck for brain health. And anything that we can do, especially after trauma, is going to be important. So this particular study, now it was an animal study, so you know, take that with the for whatever it's worth, but it certainly makes sense. And they used intermittent fasting for 30 days after head trauma. And they found that they, when, now keep in mind, fasting, intermittent fasting has different flavors. In this particular case, they did uh, calorie restriction one day and ad libitum, so whatever they wanted to eat the next day. And they found that there was an increase in what's called hippocampal neuro neurogenesis or new brain cells forming in the hippocampal region, which is pretty important. And it suggests that this is protecting the brain just by watching how much we eat. Uh, I've certainly talked about fasting in the past. Uh, my particular favorite is things like time-restricted eating. Uh, intermittent fasting is a little bit, it's easy to do with an animal in a cage. You just don't feed them with humans. It's a little bit more challenging. But if you've injured your head and you're having problems, and this certainly 30 days of every other day, uh, cutting back on your calories dramatically can have a very positive impact on the outcome, and it's worth it. So if that falls into your uh, experience or your need, I guess, if you had had trauma, then it certainly makes a little bit more sense. Some other things that we've known, uh, exercise, what's called sub-threshold exercise, meaning that uh, the worst thing we can do is just sit around after head trauma. So sub-threshold exercise is, let's say you start walking on the treadmill at five miles an hour and it gives you a headache, so you drop down to four miles an hour, but continue to do that activity. So that sub-threshold uh, aerobic activity, CBD, uh, the uh, CBD knows, kind of calms and quiets the brain, and there's been quite a few, quite a bit of research on CBD and calming the brain, especially after head trauma. Also on that list are fish oils. We've seen that fish oils, healthier fats, can help protect the brain. The uh, uh, probiotics, like that's a little bit of a, a challenging one because we know that there are changes to the gut microbiome with head trauma. Whether that is from the head trauma or whether things change and that the change in the gut bacteria may, plays a role in ongoing symptoms, we're not quite sure yet, but probiotics into the mix certainly makes sense. Um, Brain-friendly supplements, things like uh, magnesium, especially the three and eight form, which seems to cross the blood-brain barrier, blood -brain barrier better. Uh, I already mentioned fish oils, coenzyme Q10, and mixed to cofferol. So not just vitamin E, but all of the cousins of vitamin E are known to help with brain health. Uh, and finally on that list is hyperbaric chain, uh, hyperbaric treatment. We have a hyperbaric chamber in our office, so I've certainly seen that it can have a positive effect on people with brain stuff, both memory and with recent trauma. So that's another one to go on the list. So um, as always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.